So the, the big issue with this is record keeping. And if you're a tax agent, this is where the rubber really hits the road because you are required to ask your client, have you got these records? And so uh, there's two aspects to it. Number one is the hours worked at home. And number two is proving that you've actually incurred the expenses. So let me just talk about that. So the first thing is the hours worked at home. Now, frustratingly, for the current financial year, 30 June 2023, there are two methods that must be used or two methods that can be used anyway. The first is the time period from the 1st of July last year to the 28th of February, 2023. You are required to keep records which are, quote, representative of the hours worked. Now, what representative means, we don't know, but uh, that is probably something like an estimate, although it doesn't say that, but some sort of a record, some sort of a written record, I would say, of the hours that you worked in that period. In the next period, from the 1st of March, that is the 1st of this month to the end of June, you are then required to keep a record of the total number of actual hours worked from home. Now, that is the change that came in in the finalisation of the PCG. Originally, that date was to be the 1st of January. It's now the 1st of March. So from the 1st of March, the tax office make it quite clear that estimates of hours will not be accepted. And as a tax agent, you have to adopt that same principle if you want to follow the tax officer's rules. So if your client comes into you, uh, let's say it's uh, somewhere through November 2023 this year, and they say, oh, let's come in and we'll make our claim and claim our working from home and so on. And you say to them, ah, oh, that's great. Now, from the 1st of March, did you keep uh, records of the actual hours you worked? And if the client says, what are you talking about? You are supposed to say, I'm sorry, you can't make the claim. Now, the question is then, do you duck the punch or what happens? Uh, and so the point here is that you need to be telling your clients about this now. And so you don't at least try. Now, I know that your clients may not um, slavishly read everything that you send them, but at least I think you should try in some method, in some way, to advise your clients that this is what is required. Now, remember that this particular deduction affects millions of people. And so I have no doubt that just about every practice represented uh, listening to me, there will be people who will be coming in and wanting to use this 67 cent rate. And so if they don't know now that they're supposed to be keeping those actual records, then uh, there could be some very difficult conversations that will be had with that client after your end.